All right, everybody, welcome to this lovely Wednesday. Nice little day here in June 19th. How's everybody doing? Good to see you, Susan J. Look, look at that. Look at those beautiful traders. Good to see you all. Well, listen, what a great morning already, um, MLNT. Look what we got going on here. If you got in here, early bird gets the money, guys. Early bird gets the money. Look at that. Chick ching chick ching chick ching You guys did pretty well. I want to do a quick shout-out, though. Um, I mean, let's talk. Let uh, Neil Harkness did unbelievable. Ne let's give let's give Neil a round of applause. He made forty five cents in MLNT. They made another sixteen cents. Got in, got out. Made another thirty four cents and another twenty six cents. Let's give him a big round of applause. That's that's what I love to hear. Nice, beautiful, and you know what? Neil, how long you been a uh, how long you been a trader at Cyber Trading? How long you been uh, been part of the team? You know, been a uh, I think you have been a bit been almost about about a year to two years now or something like that. Look at that. That's that's what you trained for. That's what you trained for. Well, good for, good for you. Well, anyway, you can't go broke taking profits. You can see that stock's still going up there, and you know what? She was the top of my list. And um, I got a little nervous a little bit earlier. She was doing a little bit of shake here. Let me just let me just show you what's going on over here, and we'll get into it a little bit. But she did a little bit of a shake right here. I thought she was making a lower low, but someone just came with a big order out there, and bam, this thing took off. So up 119 percent. If you were here at eight here at eight o'clock this morning, everyone should have got in right around 320. You're looking pretty damn well right now. So, anyways, it's never too late to make money. Mark made uh, 44 cents in it. Good for him. Let's give him a round of applause. All right. John D. from United UK made 50 cents. I just love hearing the ching chings, all you guys. Nice, guys. What did I say earlier? There's a little phrase I always go by. Just trade one share. Just trade one share of the stock just to have the glory. If you feel nervous, you feel scared, you, you think you're chasing, just trade one share. And if you did that, you did pretty well. But before we go out and talk about the picks and talk about this nice winner, let's go over and talk about what happened yesterday because yesterday also was a great day to trade. Uh, first of all, MGI, let's start off with that one. Shockingly, um, hold on, let me fix the time frame on this thing so you can see a little bit better. All right, so this stock had a really, really nice pop going right into the close right there. This stock went from 340 all the way to $4. Nice, nice mover. Shockingly, it's also not. Uh, I think it's. Uh, it was. It's still a good trade today. Not hard to borrow if you want to short if it tanks. So one thing you want to look at it. Whatever goes up must come down, crashing down. So we've done that really well too. SPWR. Let's bring up that one too. That one was awesome. That one went from 850 right out of the gate at 10 o'clock. Shot all the way to almost 10, and then had a nice push. You know, trickling all the way up. Another nice little winner in that one too. Snap, not only has it been a good day trade, but it had been a, a good swing trade also. You know, not as fun as the other ones. A little bit more of a brand name. Everybody knows Snapchat. That one did really well. And then the Chewy. Oh, my God. Chewy, we're cleaning up right now. That was that IPO. Um, I told you I did a swing trade on that one, even though it was, I, I had a day trade on it. But like I told you, and I say it all, all the time. And you know what? I'm going to talk a lot about it today. Remember, guys, today I'm going to be doing a uh, – we're doing open house on Wednesday. We got a couple of uh, – a lot of uh, marketing partners, friends of ours, trading accounting, egg corn. They're going to be help promoting uh, and, and have some of their their traders come in and listen in. But I'm going to talk about, you know, futures, forex, and options. Everybody's like wants to know what the hell this difference and, you know, why people lose money on one versus the other. I'm going to talk a little bit about that. So don't forget to be there at 1230. But, um, but the big thing is – about the Chewy, that's one of the reasons why I want to talk about it, is that, you know, listen, it's not for everybody. It's a, fa you know, you got to know how to trade IPOs. I was just out last night, uh, met a couple of friends of mine in the trading business, and uh, we were talk actually talking about Uber, Chewy, um, uh, what's it called, uh, the meat stock that we were looking at, what was that, the, the, the meat one that we were trading, that I, other IPO that did great, was it Best Meats or something like that? So that one was doing pretty beyond meets, yeah, beyond B B Y N D. That one did great too. We were talking about that, and it's just amazing, you know, when when you when you surround yourself with people in the industry, it, it's amazing how other people make money. Because as as so impressed as they were, what we do, I was very impressed on how they target, how they make money. And, and, and funny stories, not you know, because I want to get right into trading. 
and tell you what's moving. But um, here's somebody I was talking to that buys uh, public uh, IPOs before they go public, meaning, you know, the, the VPs, you know, they, they need money and they need money now. And uh, they don't know what's going to happen when the company goes public, but they did the private placement and they go out there and they trade the stock. They buy from them and they sell it at the open. It's just there's just a whole business in trading. It's just amazing. But it's uh, but anyway, at the end of the day, that's why we all do. That's why people love it. But you got to know how to play the game. And that's why we're all here. So anyway, I got to swing on the chew. I got to swing on the Uber. So we're doing pretty well on that one. But let's go back and talk about what's moving this morning because there are a couple of stocks that we're doing well. Let's go hop over there back to that MLNT trade. Uh, looks like it's doing a little bit of a shake right now. A lot of orders out there. I'm looking on my level four. You see these guys were getting taken out on the offer. So just be, you know, listen, the stock was a $24 stock. It's $4. It's only up 118% so far. Listen, we see some of these things go up three, four hundred percent. But just remember, everybody, just remember something very important. It's okay to take a profit. Okay. Here at Cyber Training University, we're not here to teach you to make this stock go from four to five. If you got it at 350 and you sold it at four, you made your 50 cents, you made your 500. You do that every day. We do it every day. There's your six-figure salary. So don't get cocky because we know what happens with these stocks. Just like we just talked about the um, the one I just told you earlier is the MGI. We see it all the time. But let's do a quick little shout, shout out, Mike. Mike McCrane. He just made 41 cents on it. All right, Mike. There we go. Isn't that awesome? Isn't it fun to making money? Great. So anyway, that one's on the watch list. And uh, we got another, a couple other ones that are also going to pop up there. FRSX is another one right there that's moving pretty well. Kind of flat line, very cheap little stock. Uh, once it busted out of its, uh, in its below a dollar, now it's trading it right there at 160. You can see the stocks are pretty nicely. 300,000 shares at 54%. Not as still, still not as nice as MLNT. AKTX, that one, um, you guys remember this very, very well, okay? Who remember, who, go back to your journals. Remember we trade this stock? Listen, you're looking at MLNT up about 100%. This one was up, what, 500%? This stock went from $2 all the way to 9 Remember that one? That was awesome. You know, anyway, I don't know. Something's going on. I see it's already up 15%. 64,000 shares popped up on my radar. We'll see what happens when it opens up. But she's already there. C-A-L-A. Listen. She's on your short list. <laughs> Listen, you want to hold overnights. Listen, we know this stock went from five all the way to six fifty. Look where it is now. Now back down to four. I do want to. I do want to keep an eye right here and see if it holds the support levels right here. A lot of huge orders. Almost seven hundred thousand shares traded. Look at those iceberg orders out there. Ten thousand, four thousand. Got a couple of hundreds, which is perfect. So those guys are being exposed. Make sure you learn and do. Um, do what you were taught by following the orders. I know classes started this week. Hopefully you guys have been enjoying them. Remember, those are the classes where we don't teach you how to make money. That's where we teach you how to stop losing it because the winners take care of themselves. So you got that C-A-L-A, A-X-T-A. Another one popped up on the radar right there. Look at that one. Just total, just shot up. Uh, I don't know if it's a buyout, whatever, but uh, coding company systems. That one looks like it's doing pretty nicely. It's kind of holding right here. I think it's a buyout. So, you know, it's not really going anywhere. So I'm probably going to scratch it. We'll see what happens. I got to look up the news on that one. B A L E. There's another one right here. Did really well yesterday. Had a nice little pop from 1290 all the way to about 1350. She just gapped up to $14. You got some resistance levels back in early of this year. So we can, we can know where we're at. Big, one big problem about that, remember, look at the orders, 6,000, 6,000, 6,000. You got a couple 12,000. Seems like everybody's trained 6,000 shares of this stock right here. So be very careful on this stock right here, okay, on Val. Um, last from the past, Ken Thole, here you are, buddy. Here's your famous U.S. Steel. Looks like she's moving today, huh? Maybe it was from, uh, maybe Trump said something at his rally yesterday about steel again. You know how he loves U.S. steel? Maybe he made the, made the market move yesterday. But anyway, here's the stock that's moving. Uh, it's got a nice little move. We all know with uh, with this stock, though, it, it is a little bit more of a brand name. It does trade a little crazy once in a while, so be very, very careful on it. But U.S. steel is on the move. So 
So we got it. We had a good list. Listen, honestly, if you made your money already on the on the MLNT, you should be done already. I mean, honestly, we all should be done. Um, can it do and and, and do what? Uh, AK uh, AKTA went to nine dollars. Eh, it could, but you know what? Who cares? Because you know what? We're gonna find another one in the pre market again because that's what really what we do here. So if you made your money, enjoy it. Take the rest of the day off. You know, otherwise you got well, you really can't. You got class today. But if you if you're still thinking of jumping into it, if it still looks strong, you know, we'll see what happens. But remember, nine to nine thirty is a very very tough time to trade. Okay, eight. To nine is where realistically we make most of our money. But we'll see how she opens up. Just be careful because she started going from a level one type of stock. And she's starting to get in the threes. And remember, when you trade a, a stock that has that type of volatility, if you're not at that level yet, which we taught you how to journal yourself in the monthly journals, if you're not at that level, don't trade it because the stock will do some nasty shakes. Actually, if you see right here and before we go, it did do a nasty shake right here. You can see it right there. If this stock went from 320, it just dropped to 240. So, you know, just be very, very careful on that. All right? Guys, good luck today. Happy trading. We'll see you in class. Josh will be doing the new classes as we starting to, um, you know, from yesterday going into today. We got open house too. Also, you know, uh, I'll be doing an event at 1230. So we'll see you there. And then uh, once again, don't forget the trading summit, the live on-site trading summit we do in September. All right, guys? Hopefully you guys all register for that one. Good luck, everyone. We'll see you back at 2.30 for the afternoon meeting. Good luck. Happy trading.